Welcome to Commodity Analysis on Friday, the 26th of April 2013, and our free e mini SP recap. Okay, uh, I want to draw your attention to this fork. It's a downsloping fork, uh, slightly unorthodox in so much that uh, we're using this forward pivot here uh, as our low. It is a lower low, um, but it also works on this pivot but let's just look at this one for a moment we're gonna I've d done it in thick dark blue so you can see and this may look a bit of a bird's nest to you but w it'll all make sense in a minute let's just go and have a look at the upper median line of that uh, fork that's the one okay uh, and that's where we popped up to yesterday there it is and that now is our new high just under uh, 1588 and um, we're obviously going to retrace. How sharply are we going to retrace? Is this it? Looking at this pattern, and, and remember what we were talking about when we were looking at the monthly chart and the weekly chart, we've got these three big tops on the E-mini S&P that you can see, and I did say I wouldn't be surprised if we form a pivot here, even if we break out eventually, and I suspect we will break up through and make a, a, a new high um, above this congestion that uh, I, I'm not going to show it to you now uh, on the monthly chart because uh, this is bad enough in the 240 minute uh, and it, it, it just looks distorted but you, you, there are free tops and it's a highly volatile look at this we're seeing this this then we're going to see perhaps another retracement a 618 incidentally uh, is what we're possibly looking for of this move here and it'll bring it bring us down to around this area here which is this lower median line parallel of this big four but we've got to get look at this this is where we're heading this is where price wants to get to and we were actually pretty pretty close yesterday we we we, we, we were in the whisker uh, one big push through and we could have done it and that's a very very sharp angle um, that doesn't mean the trends broken just because we're not getting there because there's all sorts see that one there if you learn to keep deconstruct the string s swing, which is what I do, uh, using all of these pivots, there you go. You see, this one also will have, you'll see, there you go, and it's being used on the other side. So there are a myriad of forks. We're not drawing them all. That is the one I think we are interested in, and we could have made it yesterday. We didn't because the upper median line parallel that we've just drawn and shown you in the 240 minute, this one here. Now... Is this trend still in track? Are we going to make a higher high today? Are we going to challenge the highs? We'll have to see. We just had some weak data out. Let's just have a look at what our support is. And if we go down, uh, this looks a bit of a bird's nest uh, for you if you're not used to it. But once you drop down to these sort of levels, the clarity is there. All of these lines offer support. You can see all along this median line here. All these red dash lines are reaction lines. Okay, and now we're going to move into another chart. I just want to show you this. This is a downsloping reaction line here, and I've got it's drawn with automatic indicator. I've just gone over it here with a, uh, a manual trend line, so it's uh, exactly over. So I know where it is, and there we can see post GDP. We found support. There's some support being offered. This is a reaction line. This is the reaction line that no longer exists. It can't be shown because the pivots don't exist um, in whatever time frame it was drawn. So we're, we're trading 1576. Uh, I'd like to think we'll see a pop above and a pop out, but we could see a false breakout. We want to be careful. Uh, we're not, we've had a good week. We're not, we're not desperate to uh, uh, get involved if uh, the conditions aren't right. We're looking for a way in. We're looking for a long position. Here we are. We can see you can see this beautiful reaction line. Are we out? Are we out of the woods yet? Is this retracement over? This I drew this morning. This is a modified a, a shift fork. Sorry, not a modified shift. This is a straightforward shift fork. It's the midpoint in price and time. And we've got some light touches on it. We've also got this supporting reaction line that's pulling up here. These are all the same forks mostly on these templates that you'll see. Let's have a look here. Let's just, there we go. Let's go down to the five minute. 
difficult to say if that offering support this certainly has been drawing price lower this one here what we have of course is the possibility of here we go drawing a new fork price has got to reach this area here there's also small mini forks you can draw let's try this one okay lies along the same axis as this median line we'd be looking 15 78 15 78 50 somewhere like that we'll see what happens after the Wall Street opening there is a correction underway having reached that upper median line parallel here we've retraced but not significantly it's a very light retracement so far in fact I don't think it even scores as, uh, 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 with regards to a fib uh, let's have a look where are we let's just get this big boy well it's just off the point two three six it's just a, a sliver under the point two three six see offering resistance price is weak price is in a downtrend however this could all change come the opening We'll be back in 20 minutes.